We're really fortunate to have some lovely walks here in Gloucestershire. So one of the walks I'd taken was the Gloucestershire to Sharpness Canal Walk. So this is a fantastic walk, it's off road, you see some amazing countryside and the whole life on the, on the actual water is so much slower. It really gives you a sense of peace when you get to see the water wildlife which is just so different, which is so nice. So this canal was one of the widest and deepest canals in the world at some point. It is about 16 miles and you can start at either end, it's up to you really. But the start really is from Gloucester and then obviously ending in Sharpness. And along the way are some lovely little villages, it's really worth just crossing over the swing bridges and just having a little look around or have a little bit of lunch. It's really lovely. So just here is Seoul and at the Seoul Junction there is talk now that they're going to reconnect it to Stroud and it should be finished in 2024. So soon we'll be able to walk from Gloucester to Stroud. Um, it's quite busy at Seoul, um, a little bit more to do, a little bit more lively, but really, really, really still sweet to just catch up and meet some of the people. Chatted to many people en route. Some of the boats have been amazing. And you can kind of see their character of who they are. And some were traveling, some just sitting outside, just enjoying life. And you can just see that their whole, whole life on the water is just so different away from all the busyness. We're starting to approach now the, um, the winter solstice going within the light will be at its shortest but at the same time it's about the return of the light but that's because it's a time to process what's going on for yourself it's a lovely day today I'm loving the mist We're coming to the ship's graveyard where they're kind of buried into the, the banks and as you can see there's, uh, there's ships that were way back which is really interesting, 1870, just amazing some of the history of these boats and ships that are just buried into the side. So I'm walking the tow path of the Gloucestershire canals and um, it starts in the docks itself in Gloucestershire it's 16 miles long but for me I'm doing it over a couple of days so it's more like 32 miles because um, I've broken it up through the year really um, and I've just kind of walked a certain section of it and walked back. Um, I've picked days actually that when I need solitude I've made this um, canal walk a place for just myself which is really interesting because I do enjoy being with others but when I feel like I just need a bit of peace and quiet I um, I seem to come back to this path and I'll be nearly completed. Hopefully I'll complete it today. But it doesn't matter if I don't, but I hope I do. Um, it's a lovely misty day today. Where in the actual summer I went on a heat wave and uh, and then I've started it from the docks, which has been beautiful coming back of a night and seeing all the lights.
so weird to be on the other side of the river I literally live across there over near Lydney Way and at the moment oh, I'm on the other side which takes you about an hour to get round in the car so I'm nearly at the end of my journey I'm in sharpness I've got about, about a mile and a half to go and then I would have completed the journey Thank <laughs> you.